Around 1 p.m. on March 13, 1994, Larry Medina, his wife Betty, and their three children were looking forward to spending a quiet afternoon at their new home in Houston, Texas. But their plan suddenly went down the drain when one family member got in trouble over his head. Much of the footage in the story was taped as the events unfolded. Take the puppies out. Sunday at the church, my wife and the children took Precious and the puppies outside to get fresh air. Okay, put the puppies around him. My kids really love these puppies here. For having the puppies two weeks, they were really attached to them. While the rest of the family went to change out of their church clothes, Seven-year-old Mark stayed outside. I was eating the orange, and then I threw my pill away. Pipe. Then I tried to reach for it. I couldn't feel anything. Marky, what happened, Marky? The puppy went down the pipe. What do you mean the puppy went down the pipe, son? I panicked. I said, oh, my God, and I ran outside. Oh, babe. Here, Molly. Oh. He's crying. <laughs> Dad, you can't see nothing. Let's take a look, babe. He's down there, though. You can hear him crying. I immediately told my husband, I got to run inside, call 911. And he goes, for what are you calling 911 for? I said, because they'll know what to do. Here, here's the matter. Larry, start digging here, Larry. Go right here. Let's I didn't know how we are going to get it out, but I started digging. Thank you, sir. 911 advised Betty to call the local SPCA. SPCA? Yes, my puppy just went down the sewer line. Can you send somebody out here to help me rescue him? Around two in the afternoon, members of the SPCA rescue unit, including Michelle Ria, got to the scene. When I arrived, I found Mr. Medina digging up the sewer pipe. Hi, I'm with the SPCA? Hi. Yes, uh, my puppy fell into this, this pipe here. It sounded like the puppy was really close to where he had fallen into. Dug up, but I don't have the equipment to cut the pipe open. At that time, we thought we would be able to remove the pipe and grab him from there. Did that work okay? Yes, yeah, it cut a hole. Okay. Let me show, stick my hand in there and see if I can grab the pup. The thing I was mainly concerned with is you can hear the puppy crying and it was such an echo that it was really hard to determine how far away the puppy was. When Betty called the city's public works department, they said it sounded like the problem was in a private sewer line. I started looking through the phone book and I happened to pass something that said rescue. And I said, oh my God, this is it. Good evening, rescue router. Ronnie speaking. How may I help you? Plumber Ronnie Lazzi took the call. You have a puppy stuck where, ma'am? I kind of thought it was a joke at first. Uh-huh. Can I get some information from you, ma'am? What is your name? And I noticed the tone of her voice. She was serious. She called everybody else she could call. We were like her last resort. By the time the plumbers got to the Medina's house around 8, the puppy had been trapped in the sewer pipe for more than seven hours. And it runs into his main line. We put a hole in it. I seen Betty Medina's daughter. She was crying. She loved this little puppy. That took its effect on me because I love kids. So I told the guy I was with. Let's see if we can find them on the sewer camera. Jimmy, you want to pass me that reel? It's an infrared head on the reel, and we have a regular TV monitor that we hook it up to. Basically, we can see for any broken pipes, root damage to pipes. See the monitor? Or in this case, a dog. Looks like I'm coming up to the city drop where it drops into the city main. After going out 20 to 30 feet. 
We finally came up to him. I'm coming up to the puppy. There he is right there. There he is. There's a bunch of debris in there, like some leaves, and he looks like he's hanging on to a stick. All right, there's his head right there. That debris he was clinging on to was saving him from dropping into that city main. But we couldn't tell exactly where he was. I got in. He looks like he's somewhere out in the middle of the street somewhere. The dog was in the city's line, so it was their responsibility to dig the street. The deputy assistant director of the city's public works department, Max Allen, arrived to see what they could do. They could hear the puppy, but didn't know where he was. In discussing it with Ronnie, he indicated that they had a radio transmitter that they could bring and attach to the TV camera and pinpoint uh, the location. Jimmy, come in a few more feet. Yeah. It indicated that the transmitter was about eight feet below the surface of the street. Everybody should be right here. So the first thing to do was get the pavement and the concrete uh, up so that the bag hoe could start digging. We were waiting for the city to dig the street, and we didn't want to lose the dog before that point. Sewer lines contain a lot of deadly gases, so we have a device that pumps air down into the line. People might think that because they're dogs, they don't know anything. But Precious sat on the porch, and she just sat there, and she wouldn't move. She wouldn't play with the other puppies. She just sat there, just waiting. She knew that there was one of her puppies missing. A nine-ton backhoe was brought in to dig through the layers under the street. Eldridge Walker was the operator. When I looked at first at the monitor they had in the line, you could see the top of the pipe was kind of eroded. So my basic idea was to try to dig on side of it and then let them do the rest with the shovel because if I touched the top of the pipe with the backhoe, it was over. He's been in there about 14 hours now. If you notice, this is his head right here. There's a piece of wood right here. And he's hungry because he's a two-week-old puppy. He's eating the wood down there trying to get some nourishment out of the wood. He's just all tangled in all the debris, and he's suffering. I felt so helpless because I could see him right there on the TV monitor. I was just sitting there and praying and saying, you know, oh, dear God, just don't let him move. Because if he would have gone down into the main sewer line, there was nothing we could have did for him. I was good because... I thought the puppy was going to the main two line because we couldn't dig fast enough. I thought the puppy was going to die, and I, I gave it up. But I learned that never give up. Don't worry. Jimmy, grab your ball, please. Huh? Whatever on top of the truck. This helps you. Yeah. Ow. Yo. Yeah. Go ahead. Can you see with that light? You got him? Yeah. All right. All right. Bring him over. Yeah, we're not going to leave. All right. Woo! Bring him over. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> dry him out. Around 5.45 in the morning, 17 hours after the puppy fell into the sewer pipe, he was finally free. I stretched my hands out and I said, oh, and I hugged and I looked at him. You know, and I just started crying. Daddy, put some in that cup right there and let him uh, drink out of the cup. The lady, she was so happy, I was happy. You, know, you only get so many chances in life to do something real good for someone else. It made me feel good. He was getting a little weak, but he really wasn't 
in that bed of shade. I was surprised after being in the pipe for that long that he would still be that strong. Well, give us a bill. Look out, here comes mom. <laughs> it was a long night, but everything turned out the way I wanted it and the way everybody else wanted it to. I was just saying, thank God it's alive, job well done. Let's go home. <laughs> How you doing? All right, little fella. We got you. When the puppy went down the sewer line, he had no name. But when he came up, I had already decided that his name was going to be Rescue Rooter. So for short, we called him Rooter. <laughs> The Medina family found a home for their adventurous puppy with one of the plumbing company's employees. Come here, Come here, Ruder. We haven't seen Ruder over a month. And when they saw one another, they just bonded together. Come here, Precious. Come here, Ruder. What I learned from all this is when we let the puppies out to make sure they can't go under the house and make sure that cap's on the pipe so they won't go in the pipe. And it's only been less than two months. Look at her. <laughs> well, I gave all three companies credit for saving a puppy. And I didn't know how to thank them just by shaking uh, all the employees' hands, giving them a hug, and just thanking them. 